Today, I'm going to be showing you five quick and easy maths activities which you can use with the children in your nursery, childcare centre, or just at home with your own children. Maths is a really important skill for developing young minds, which is why we've carefully selected these five activities to help children with recognising patterns, developing their problem-solving skills, and also just generally recognising numbers. Let's get started. First up, Lego patterns. For this activity, what you'll need is a variety of different coloured pieces of card, as well as a variety of different pieces of Lego in the same colours as the card. You can set up the room by dotting the card around on the floor and mixing up the Lego all together so there's a variety of colours together. Then, when the children come in, you can ask them to sort the Lego and match it to its corresponding card. So all the pink goes onto the pink card, and so on. When they're finished with this, you can then ask them, how many pieces of Lego are pink? How many are red? This will help with their fine motor skills as well as their understanding and recognition of numbers. Next up is an activity called Missing Numbers. For this activity, what you'll need is craft sticks, clothes pegs and a permanent marker. To get started with this one, what you need to do is line up the craft sticks and write the numbers 1 through to 10 onto them, leaving some numbers out. For example, you might leave out 3 and 7. Then what you need to do is write those numbers 3 and 7 onto the clothes pegs. Before the children come into the room, mix all these in together and then, when they're ready, it's their job to match up the right clothes peg to the missing craft stick. Then, they'll have a full set of numbers from 1 through to 10. Depending on the age of the children, you may want to go slightly higher or slightly lower with the number range that you're choosing, or the number of gaps that you're asking them to fill in. It's up to you. Number 3. Smack it. So for this activity, what you'll need is a fly swatter or a spatula from the kitchen, one for each child, as well as numbers on post-it notes from 1 through to 6 and a 6-sided dice. Once you've arranged these post-it notes on the floor and given each of the children a spatula, it's then your job to roll the dice and theirs to quickly hit the number that they see. For example, if you roll a number 5, the children all have to try and hit the 5 on the post-it note as quick as they can. This will help with their fine motor skills and number recognition. Next one's called Straws and Pom Poms. For this activity, what you'll need is a straw for each child, a variety of different pom-poms, as well as three or more containers labelled with a different number on each. So once you've given each child a straw, what they then need to do is try and fill each of the containers with the right number of pom-poms, depending on what's listed on the front. Once they're finished, you can go through and double-check that they've got the right number. This is another great game for children to help recognise numbers and also just a bit of fun. And lastly, egg cracking. For this activity, what you'll need is five different coloured pieces of card, a permanent marker, a hole punch, and scissors. You create your eggs by cutting an oval shape into the cardboard and then writing the numbers from one through to five onto each of the eggs. Then, once you've given the children the hole punch, they then need to stamp in the right number of holes depending on what number is written on the egg. For example, if an egg has the number 5 on it, the children need to punch in 5 holes. This will help them with their number recognition as well as fine motor skills and coordination with using the hole punch. Well, that's a wrap. I hope I've given you some good ideas for different maths activities that you can use for the children in your care. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any feedback or ideas, and don't forget to subscribe to get more updates like this. We're planning to do lots more of these videos, so we hope to see you soon.